This is an AIM65 advanced interactive microcomputer. Uh, more specifically, this is a Dynaterm version of the AIM65. Um, most of the AIM65s uh, were made by Rockwell. Uh, this is, a, uh, I believe, a licensed version after Rockwell stopped producing the AIM65s. Um, and uh, more about the AIM65. Uh, they were these were produced after the Kim ones were stopped. Uh, they stopped producing the Kim ones. Uh, this is a uh, a descendant of the Kim one. It has uh, an 8K monitor in it. It's very powerful. It still has a 6502 running at one megahertz. Uh, it's got the 6522 and and uh, 6532 I/O ports. It's also got an additional uh, 65. 20 uh, obviously there to manage the display the printer is pretty cool uh, let's do a reset turn the well the at, to, at normal power on the printers working but I had turned off the printer so there we go um, let's see control print makes the printer print okay so anything that you type uh, shows anything that displays on here displays on the on the, the print display We'll turn that off for now. Control print. Okay, it is off. Uh, that does look like it's a little hard to read. Um, so let me put this red filter on. It should be a little easier to read, I hope, for you. I think so. Less glare. All right, so uh, in order to uh, view memory, you would go memory. Uh, 0300 is a uh, user memory area, so you'd say just hit that, hit the space bar. Uh, you've got, there's memory location 300, 301, 302, 303, hit the space bar again, 304, 305, 306, 307, space bar again, etc, etc, etc. All these are A's. Uh, you power the computer on, um, the, with the RAM starts up in a random state. Uh, uh, looks like it's all A's, I'm not sure why, that doesn't sound random to me, but uh, there you go. Let's, uh, uh, you, you can, using the slash key, um, tell the computer that you want to enter, enter data. So you could put Fs in there. Uh, and uh, we'll let you continue. No, okay, won't let you. So let's go back to uh, um, memory, 0300. There's the A's, oops. Memory, 0300. There's the A's, spacebar again, more A's, more A's. Our F's are going to show up here in a second. Uh, there they are. Okay, so you, you can edit the memory that way. Or, if you want, so you could enter, you can enter hex if you want, or you can actually enter monomics. So let's go back to uh, star 0300 space and I for input. And now we're at memory location 300. And we can now. Uh, actually enter uh, assembly code in, and uh, not hex code. So let's do uh, first clear the carry. Oops. Clear carry. All right. And then we'll do LD load the accumulator with the absolute value of uh, let's see eight zero, which would be in a byte eight zero. Uh, if that was converted to binary, it would be a one followed by seven zeros and let's just do a roll to the right so that one followed by seven zeros would then be um, a zero a one followed by six zeros and the value in hex would go from eight to four if you rolled it again the value would go from uh, four to two if you rolled it again it would go um, uh, it would go to a one to a value of yeah be a value of sorry one zero and then if you rolled it again it would be zero eight etc okay so anyway ROR and let's ROR again and then break and we'll throw in another break in here too uh, but we don't have to all right then hit the escape and uh, let's do this. Um, let's turn the printer back on. And let's um, 
Well, I guess first thing we could do is first thing we do is we could look at our program in hex m0300. Okay, clear carry. A9 is load accumulator. Loading it with 8. 6A is um, ROR. I think we did that twice. Yep, there's the other ROR. Then we have a break followed by another break. It's actually going to break on this one and the monitor is going to drop into this one and, and we'll just it'll just say break, but this is the break that broke it. So uh, then the other thing we could do is if you don't like looking at it in hex, you can say 0, 3, 0, 0, return, and then you could say K for, oh, 0, 3, 0, 0, and say show me 10 bytes. And focus. Okay, so we've got, uh, just like we said, 300, clear carry. A9 LDA, 6A ROR, 6A ROR again. Um, break and a break, and then followed by garbage. Okay, and then say, just turn that printer off. Go back to zero three zero zero space and go oh go zero three now yep oh, what did i just do it, it worked and then let's do this r for show us the registers and we should actually do that with the printer on r for show us the registers You see, uh, with the you, we missed the first line. So uh, here's the A accumulator. Sorry, the accumulator is a two zero. We ROR twice. So we went from we went from the eight zero, which is the leftmost bit, being a one. We did an ROR, so uh, the second leftmost bit became a 1. And we did an ROR again, and the third leftmost bit became a 1. So it went from, and this translates in hex, from 8, 4, 2. Well, 8, 0, 4, 0, 2, 0. 2, 0. So now that you've seen how the AIM65 works in Assembler, let's show you in BASIC. It also has uh, PL1 and 4th as, as well, but I don't have those chips. Um, so let's go to BASIC, which is hit 5, and it's going to request the memory size. It's thinking, the width. Okay, it says right here that there's 36k free. I think I said 32 earlier. I wasn't. Uh, there's a there's a more memory than I, than I thought. Uh, we are now in AIM 65 Basic. I'm going to type up a, uh, a quick little program uh, and in Basic and demonstrate how it works. So here we go. So you can see it is still running. This little program here. Um, when it's done, uh, it'll 
calculate well it'll it'll have an approximation of pi um, it'll run for 1000 iterations we'll see how long that takes oh for god's sake it's taking too long so let's say uh f1 to cancel print n n was it one and 100 go to 20. oh i never did an n equals n plus one <laughs> that's hilarious okay um let's just see print p times four 3.141 so that's uh pi accurate to uh uh three decimal places after what a minute of running not bad anyway i hope you liked it it's the aim 65 nice overhead shot